Increases the water holding capacity of the potent mix as it increases the porosity of the soil. This ensures that the plant does not suffer from underwatering or overwatering. This week on the Ghanaian farmer, we bring you the benefits of cocoa peat usage in agriculture. We'll be speaking with Ajay, who is behind this agribusiness, to understand what even inspired him to start at the first place. My name is Anyunam, and this program is proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix. When you go to the market in your shopping, make sure to get Lizzie for the home. You can get interactive on our social media platform, share your views and your questions with us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn, The Ghanaian Farmer. I'm going for a quick bit that when I come back, AJ joins me on set to throw more light on this agribusiness. Stay tuned. Thanks for staying with me. This is still Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime. My name is Enyo Nam. And standing next to me is Daniel Ocheba, the CEO of Insuraba Fiber. He's here to tell us more about this insightful agribusiness. Daniel, thanks for joining me. You're it, welcome. It is so inspiring to get to know that an SHS graduate has put such a big business together with a lot of employees. Congratulations on your one-year anniversary. Thank you. But Thank briefly, you. how did this start for you? Okay, as you said, after SHS, mm -hmm. I realized there are more fits mm -hmm. in the society. Mm -hmm. And moreover, I have a sanitation, Ghana sanitation at heart. Okay. So probably seeing this, I realize people are dealing with the plastic aspects mm -hmm. and ignoring the coconut aspect, okay. of which it's also causing more pollution in the environment. In the environment. Okay. All right. So I decided to start some research mm -hmm. and know what it's used for. So after the research, I realized it's used for coconut tax fiber mm. and also cocoa peat, mm. which it plays small role in the agricultural sector. Okay. Yes, so okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a growing meal. Right, so this has been one year since you started. Yes, this has been now, one when year. someone hears cocoa peat or coconut husk fiber, can you throw a little light on what these two things mean? Okay, mm. to start with the uh, cocoa peat, it's a growing medium. As you can see, it's derived from this cocoa nut husk. Okay. And uh, it's used in planting. All right, uh, it's mostly used in, in permaculture. Okay horticulture mm. and uh, the more uh, it retains more water right. for your plant mm. and that's one of the mm. um, one of the benefits property. okay okay the second one mm -hmm. it's uh, because of this porosity mm. nature mm. it easily allows water and air to your root okay and you know if you have adequate root uh, adequate air mm. And adequate water mm. to your root, mm -hmm. definitely you'll be having healthy roots. Exactly. And okay. uh, if you have a healthy root, mm. too, definitely you'll be having a healthy plant. Awesome. So, so that's th the this plays a very significant it. role yes. in farming. Yeah. Okay. Now about the coconut husk itself, yes, sure. I know there are a lot of it in the community. However, how do you gather them before you allow your truck to go collect it? and then bring it to the, the company or the factory for you to start processing. Do you buy them or is it given to you for free? Yeah, it's, it's a tedious job though, okay. but um, I pay a token. Okay. For them, to, I pick it from the vendors, okay. let me put it this way. Mm. But I pay a token mm -hmm. for them to keep it for me. Mm. Then I go in with my truck mm. to bring it to my side. Okay. Now, take us through the process before we see the coconut husk like this. After the truck delivers them right. at the company, what next do you do to it? Okay, after the truck comes inside, mm. I have a defibrillating machine. Okay, which has, is that what we see over yeah, there? Yeah, this is what you see. Okay. I think that I have a new one installed there too. Okay. So when it comes in mm -hmm. here, we just put the coconut hat mm -hmm. inside. Okay. So it has a mechanism mm -hmm. which disintegrates the coconut husk. Okay. So you then have your fiber 
out there, okay. then you'll be having your cocoa pit dropping down here. I see. So that's how you come. Okay. So after we get our cocoa pit, mm -hmm. it's mixed with, the cocoa pit is mixed with baby fibers. Okay. So we then take mm. it mm. to the other side, as you can see the yes. ladies right yes, there. Yes, I've seen them. Okay. Mm. They sieve the cocoa pit mm. to separate the baby fiber mm -hmm. from the cocoa pit. Okay. So if you go there, you could see they are separating the baby fiber, mm. the shells mm. as well, mm. to have a fine cocoa pit. Mm. So after we sieve it, mm -hmm. um, we now start bagging. Okay. All right. So when we bag mm -hmm. them, then we it's start sewing. No, we sew it. You sew? Yeah, that okay. is the packaging as right. well. So we, we sew them. Uh -huh. Then now we take, we transport them to the market. Okay. Now, in a day, how many trucks of the coconut husk are you able to process using your machine? Okay. This, I process three of this. Three of this truck in every a, day. Yeah. Due to, because of the demand. Okay. Because of the demand. Okay. I process three of them. Okay. But I can bring in more. More. If there is more demand. Okay. Yes. Now, let's look at the difference between the cocoa pits and our regular fertilizer. Is there any difference among those two? Yes, there is a difference. Okay. Um, the cocoa pit mm -hmm. has um, more porosity, mm -hmm. as I said earlier mm -hmm. on. One, then it allows easy penetration of water and okay. air. Right. Two, the nutrient level mm -hmm. of this uh, it's quite neutral okay. as compared to the fertilizer. Okay. Three, this one, uh, as I said, I don't know if I mentioned that, uh, it holds water yes, a lot yes, for you your plant. That. Mm. So it maintains the moisture mm. that your the plant plants need. need. Okay. Yeah, so, so I know that we have organic uh, organic fertilizer and the inorganic. inorganic. Do I say the cocoa pit is like an, an organic? Yeah, it's an form organic of because it's made from organic products. It's 100% okay. organic. Okay. Okay, nice. Now, let's talk about after bagging. And ready for the market. Yeah, sure. Now, how much do you sell a bag of cocoa pits? A bag of cocoa pits goes for 20 Ghana CD. Uh, it very affordable. Very affordable. Very affordable. And uh, if you could see them mm -hmm. uh, as they are working mm -hmm. there, uh, I think nobody bags cocoa pits as big as I do. In okay. Past, uh, uh, let me put it this way. Mm -hmm. Aside uh, shiraba fiber, mm -hmm. Nobody bags cocoa pits like myself. Okay. So I have the uh, most affordable mm. cocoa pits in the mm. market. Okay. Yeah, sure. And the way if, if you want to, mm. most people are very concerned mm. about the weight. Mm. It's 20 kg okay. per that's bag. That's the bag it comes yeah, in. Yeah, that's 20 the bag. Kg. Yeah, and it's going for 20, 20 Ghana cities. cities. Okay. Now, for this past one year, you've been running this business. Yeah, sure. Let's talk about capital. All right. Because seeing you is very, I mean... I'm so happy. How about if a young man who wants to also start something like this? Because trust me, in Shraba Fiber alone cannot exhaust all the fields of coconut husk we have yeah, in the society. Sure, yeah, Definitely sure. we need other people. Now, if someone wants to start, how much are we looking at? I mean, an estimate, not maybe the proper figure you start with, but an estimate for installing these machines and any other thing that is involved. Okay, to, to, to answer this... Uh uh, the things you are seeing here, mm -hmm. I didn't start at a go. At a go. Okay. I started small. As you okay. can see, I, this this place is is my dad's mm. house. Okay. And after SHS, I realized going in for locations and stuff, it might cost a Expensive. lot. Expensive. Yeah, and I don't have that capital, mm. so I realized my dad has a house here, mm. and he he used to operate a carpentry shop. Okay. So I transformed this carpentry shop. That's my dad's shop. Okay into this factory so right. i started with this old machine mm -hmm. you are seeing mm -hmm. here and uh it it started with uh can i remember this <laughs> uh, an estimate an estimate yes. an estimate yes uh, Twenty thousand. okay Twenty thousand to start okay Twenty thousand. okay no that's fine so uh, the next question i want to find out from you is after installing the first machine is that what you started with, or you install all of it together? No, no, it's just the first it's one. It's just you the first one. Okay, um, another question I want to find out I am a farmer, all right. If I have a one acre farm, okay, then I'm going to start before I even plant my nursery. 
how many bags of cocoa pit do I need for a one acre farm? Okay, it will depend the way you want to do. We have the raised bed type, mm -hmm. we have the bucket type. Mm. So it will depend on the system you want to do. Okay. Hope you understand. Mm. If you are using a, a bucket system of which the size of the bucket will determine the number of cocoa pits you'll be needing. Mm. So my cocoa pit is 40 liter per bag. Okay. okay. So if you are having a five liter bucket, it will be taking eight of the buckets. So we can just do the multiplication and mm. you have per acre. Okay. So viewers, if you just tune in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyonam and standing next to me is Daniel, a.k.a. AJ. <laughs> I'm going for <laughs> a foods. quick breather. When I come back, we'll discuss more about how farmers can benefit from using cocoa pits instead of any other inputs on their farm. I'll be right back after this. Thanks for staying with us. You're still watching The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Zanyanam. This program is proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix. If you are shopping in the market for the house, remember the tomato paste that contains vitamin and give your meal a great taste. It's Lizzie Tomato Mix. We are also looking for distributors. So just contact the number displayed on your screen and we will be delivering to wherever you are. Uh, so don't forget. And also get interactive with us. Do you have any question for Daniel? Would you want to meet him for any training? I'll ask him about that. Any other thing you want to know about Coco Pits business here? You can just get interactive on our social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube, The Ghanaian Farmer. Daniel, so we discuss how many bags or buckets of Coco Pit you need for a one-acre farm. Now, the next question I want to ask is, um, is Coco Pit alone enough? for me to grow my let's say carrots that will take a four months to mature for me to start harvesting is cocoa pit alone enough or you still advise i ask i add another fertilizer yes thanks for your question mm. cocoa pit um, it's a growing medium okay so you will need an extra fertilizer okay to boost the nutrients of the soil of the, of the medium okay of, of the, the cocoa, cocoa pit. pit okay of the cocoa, cocoa mm. pit, sorry. Mm. Um, so you have to get your organic fertilizer, mm -hmm. get your cocoa pit as mm. well. You mix them together, then you mm. get your perfect stuff. Mm. If you use the cocoa pit, mm -hmm. it maintains the, the nutrient, of the soil, the, the nutrient, mm. or in, the nutrient mm -hmm. for your plants, mm. and it you have excellence. Uh, yield. Okay. Let me put it that way. Okay. You have excellent yield. Right. Okay. Now let's talk about the demand because this is agribusiness. And of course, you didn't invest 20000 for nothing. <laughs> the demand for this product, how is it like? It's awesome. Mm. It, it's just one year and uh, the demand is awesome. Mm. Um, I have customers all over. Mm. And uh, I think it, it's it's overwhelming. It's mm. overwhelming. Okay. The demand is awesome. Mm. Uh, let me put it this way. I have to put in more effort okay. to reach these people. Okay. So that I, I really appreciate it. It's going well, mm. but I expect more. Mm. The customers who buy the cocoa pits, who are they? Do you get farmers or who and who? In agriculture, we have a lot of people or players in there yes. who and who are some of the people who use your products can you mention them those who use it much uh -huh. and they are my target are greenhouse farmers okay and these gardeners uh -huh. also use it okay so let me put it in general all the farmers those mm. who are into crop farming mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. they need cocoa pit mm. but my main target mm -hmm. are those into greenhouse hmm. because they solely mm -hmm. solely use the cocoa pit. The cocoa yes, pits. I was in a greenhouse farm, yeah, sure, and sure. that was what they were using in yes. a plastic rubber. Yes, it's called grow bag. Exactly, it's called grow bag. Right. Okay. So, how are you able to reach these greenhouse farmers? How do they get in touch with you? How are you creating visibility for your product for them to reach out to you? All right. In the first place, as I started, mm -hmm. you know, I know I knew nobody. Okay. I was just a uh, SHS graduate mm -hmm. and uh, doing one or two. Mm -hmm. I like to use the papa. Right. Okay. <laughs> doing one or two. Mm -hmm. So after production, I mm -hmm. now started, uh, okay, how do I reach these people? Yeah. So in the first place, mm -hmm. I started 
reaching them online. Okay. So I book you, I tell you I have, I do produce mm -hmm. cocoa peats. Mm -hmm. I do produce cocoa peats. Mm -hmm. So I take two or three bags to them, they experiment it and mm -hmm. boom, it goes well for them. Okay. They start ordering. Okay. So that's my right. thing. What has been some of the challenge since one year you started in producing cocoa peats? Uh, have there been any, you know, operational challenges that you can talk about? Yeah, sure, sure, many. Especially bringing the hacks all over from town to mm. this side. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, I don't know, this is a challenge, but I don't really think... Uh, that, that my road system, okay. it's a challenge. The road network, red, road it's network. a bit bad. You see, you made my small car suffer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> right. In case you don't care right. any problem, mm -hmm. I'll just fix it mm -hmm. for you. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> that so the road network the is, is the terrible. The road network is terrible. Mm. And uh, as I said earlier, mm. I'm bringing the cocoa peats, mm. sorry, the coconut mm -hmm. has in here for production. Mm -hmm. It's also a, a, a challenge, mm. but it's, it's, although it's a challenge, but for me, I'm built to face any challenge that okay. I, I do face. I do change problems mm. into beneficial stuff. Okay. And as you can see, I'm doing mm. such with mm. this coconut mm. waste. Yeah, I'm changing them from waste into useful products. Okay. I see. Interesting. Um, how about recouping your investment? So far, for the past one year, the amount you've invested, how has been sales as against what you've invested? How is it so far? When you look at your books, how is it going? Well, it, it, it's going... It's not bad. Okay. It, it's good. Mm. It's good. But this is what I do. Mm. Because I am young and mm -hmm. I have no other source of uh, mm. income mm. so this is what i do mm -hmm. when i get the money i in, i reinvest okay i reinvest right so as you can see mm -hmm. i started with this this machine yes and uh with this old structure, structure. and as you can see mm. the you have here, expanded i have expanded okay so, so the money keep it keep in, uh, reinvesting. In reinvesting okay so that's what i'm doing that's my strategy right now. that's fine is cocoa pit reusable yeah, it's reusable. How do I do that? Uh, as you can see here, uh -huh. when you fire them, it's it's very fresh. How do you mean when I fire them? Sorry, mm -hmm. it's, it's a production thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. When you put the coconut into the, the firing uh -huh. machine, the term is called fire. Fire, okay. Okay. That's the term fine. is called fire. Okay. So I think I can use the term now. Yes, that's fine. I understand. Yeah, sure. That. So when you fire them... Mm -hmm you have a fresh cocoa peat. Okay. So the fresh cocoa peat uh, has a bit of uh, heat. Mm. Has a, a bit of heat mm. and it's not advisable to use it. Okay. Um, the decomposed one, as you can see here, we have the darker one. Yes. It's very relaxed. Okay. And good for your plant. So right. as you were asking, mm. uh, in terms of reusable, mm -hmm. Sometimes, so people ask me, does it expire? Yes. Is that what you're asking? Yes, yes, yes. It doesn't expire. Okay. You can reuse it. Okay. Reuse so if a greenhouse farmer buys some bags of cocoa peat from you, yeah. can I use it the whole year? You can use it the whole year. How about our fathers who plant on the normal ground with the sunlight and all that? What kind of weather helps cocoa peat to work really good for the crops? Okay, hmm. cocoa peat has no weather, let's say Condition. weather weather barriers. Okay, where it doesn't have any weather barriers. Okay, that's one of the best. That's that makes it one of the best hmm. among the rest. Hmm. When it's raining, mm -hmm. you still have your moisture. Okay, it retains the water hmm. for you. When it, the sun shines too, hmm. because of its water holding hmm. capacity hmm. property, it also maintains. The, the, the moisture that the plant will be needing. So it doesn't have any specific weather, uh, weather condition. Okay. In your um, explanation, you did said you did research yeah. on how to add some value to coconut husk. Now, those who are working with you, did you have to take them through some specific training for them to be able to work with you or uh, they just came and you are instructing, uh, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, that's how it is. How does somebody get to work in a factory like this? Anyway, they, 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 they just came. Uh -huh. It's, it's a, on a job training. 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 Okay. On a job training. Okay. So when you come in, 
practically, mm -hmm. uh, let me say, personally, mm -hmm. I'm a practical guy. Okay. I see stuff and I, I, I capture it mm -hmm. and I, I, I put it in place. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to practice it okay. to know the outcome of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So I try to input the, uh, impact that into mm -hmm. my workers. Mm -hmm. So if you have no knowledge about working here, mm -hmm. I just impact it into you. Okay. So as I said, it's, a, it's an on-job training. training. Okay. Now, are you available for investment? Uh, probably after this interview, uh, I get a lot of calls. And you know, the young man you interviewed, <laughs> Daniel, I want to see him or I want to meet him. Or are you able to tell me if he's open for investment? And I know one, one thing, one fear of young people is now you are the CEO, so you have 100%, you know, hands down on the company. Yeah, sure. But if a partner is coming in, probably he want to take a 40 or a 60% move you from here, take you to a bigger place. Are you open for that? Yes, I'm available mm -hmm. for, I'm open, let me mm -hmm. say it, I'm open for investment. Okay. But uh, mm. this is how I want to say, mm. uh, I'm, I'm more interested mm -hmm. in, in, let me say, buyers, okay. people who will be bringing, who will be making my product go for Okay. Okay, like retailers. Retailers. Ah, you're really looking for distributors, distributors as well. Distributors as okay. well. Okay, okay. Those looking, are the people you're looking for more. Looking for okay, more. Okay, that's fine. The retailers. Okay. Anyway, I have one or two outside, mm. though, but I'm looking for more nationwide. More people. Yes, it's, it's so, very important. So we can reach many people. Okay. Many farmers right. across the country. Okay. I'm going for 60 seconds. When I come back, we'll talk about um, if there's any call for help or maybe the agri sector. Okay, if they should help you in any way. So, viewers, this is still Ghanaian farmer today. The spotlight is on cocoa pits. There is a lot of usage for coconut husk. Uh, coming up is 60 seconds on our Greg. When I come back, we'll wrap up this entire conversation. <music> For 60 seconds on our break, you're still watching The Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime. My name is Anyunam and my guest today is Daniel Ocheba, the CEO of Inshraba Fiber. Now, what's the way forward? What should we be, we, be, we be expecting after one year anniversary has been celebrated? What should we be expecting from you? Okay, you shouldn't be expecting nothing. You should be expecting nothing but the best from Ishiraba mm. Fiber. Mm. As you can see, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm improving. Yes. So I'm, I'm also working on one or two stuff to, mm -hmm. to, to reach each and every one who would need the cocoa pit. Mm. So I don't want to be demand handicap. Let mm. me say it that way. Mm. So I'm even working harder okay. and improving okay. to reach everybody okay. uh, who would need the cocoa pit. Right. Um, when, when you're about to introduce the product to a new buyer, is it difficult to tell them, listen, cocoa pit is good for your farming, and all that. Is it difficult to convince them? Some some are easy. Okay. It depends on the client you are reaching. Right. Some already have insight. They've okay. done a research. They've okay. heard of our uh, cocoa pits. Mm. Even some don't think uh, we have it in Ghana. Mm. Most people think uh, most people import it. Let me say okay. it that way. Okay. So when I tell them I have cocoa pits mm. here, they say, "Wow, mm. you are producing cocoa mm. pits here in Ghana." Mm. Uh, so some already have. Knowledge, knowledge about, about it. it and those don't you those have to try to, to try and the benefit of it as i keep telling you i'm an action guy okay so i always experiment it i pick some amount of it sometimes i open the sack yeah 
and pick some amount of it and demonstrate. I do some small demonstration for them to see. For them to see, I especially see. the water okay. holding capacity. Right. Do we have any pests that can, you know, cause some damage to the cocoa pit? Not, no, no. There's nothing sometimes, like that. Sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes when you keep it in a very cool place, sometimes mm -hmm. a very cool place, mm -hmm. these uh, groups, mm. they are some white, they, they are white groups. They, they come inside, but it's not usual. Okay. It's not usual. It's not usual. Okay. It's not usual. Okay. Once in a while. Once in a while. All right. So, uh, thanks for your time once again. If someone wants to reach out to you, how do we find you on social media? Okay. Ishiraba Fiber. Mm. It's on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Reach Ishiraba Fiber on the Instagram handle at Ishiraba Fiber. Okay. And um, you reach me on Facebook. Ishiraba Bioenzyme, okay. Fiber and Cocoa Pit. Okay. Um, my number to call is 0245-357156. I mentioned it again. 0245-357156. It's on WhatsApp and any other um, social media platform that uses number. Thank you. Uh huh. So that one will cost him a 10,000 Ghana CD. <laughs> It will feel like a check, mommy. Thank you so much for making time with us. Next week, we'll come your way again with another I'll exciting like interview. Yes. Yeah, I would like to thank the viewers for watching, mm. especially my customers all over. Mm. I call them Ishiramba. Mm. You are blessed. Mm. Poom. <laughs>